be pointing from the side at this. All right. Well, I, okay, I got you. Okay. So go ahead. Whenever this you're... move, this joint here, being able to move, which is allows the bike to flop over, that makes the geometry of the setup unstable and potentially dangerous, especially when someone getting off and on. Uh, you don't need the bike able to lean, so you can eliminate this easiest from this design. What about the bike leaning into a turn, though? Is that not? You don't, not, you don't that, need that's it. That's not necessary. You're tied to this. No, you're not going okay. fast enough. Okay, good. This thing will go pretty fast, though. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it's tied. If it's okay. tied to this, it can't lean, so you okay. don't have to worry about falling over the other way. Okay, sorry to interrupt. This piece extended down, say to here, or and a piece to replace this uh, tubular channel. Okay, the square tube down to here. Put back together identically with the identical bolts, so you it will then pivot as it does now. Drill through both uh, tubular steels, put one bolt in, and it locks this joint rigid. The bike cannot flop. You can see the performance of the two for the cost of the bolt and the washers and the extended piece of steel. Okay, could you do the other? Uh... Okay, the force back of your load in the trailer has got a huge leverage movement from here, back to here, and further back with the weight. There's huge stress on this joint. You see here with the uh, seat tube, the chain stay, and the seat stay, this is a triangle that's inherently stable. You have the two attachment fo points for fenders and so on, uh, bike racks. If you have a, a means, say a bolt through here, forward of this pivot joint, that goes down to this point on each side, you'll be creating a triangle and mean that this gets a lot less force. This is more rigid and phenomenally stronger for very low cost. You try it by cleaning the grease out of here, taking the bolt out, cleaning the grease out of here, replacing the slip washer in here with a lock washer or no washer at all. But done properly to take the load is the extended version I explained earlier. But stop this from moving easily. But if you tighten this down too much you can collapse these columns. You don't want to do that.